Hello and welcome back. In this video, we will see what is Enneagram string and how to check if two strings are Enneagram or not. So let's get started. Say for example, we have two strings. One is word listen and the another string is silent word. If you closely look these two strings, okay, you will see that the L character I, S, T, E, N all these characters are present once and if you see this string okay the same characters are present for the same number of times in this string as well just the order is different okay here the l character is first here is l character on the third position okay when you have two strings in which you have same number of characters with the same occurrences of each and every character and just order is different then you can say that both string are anagram. Another example you can take is earth and heart. Okay, so each and every character, how many times present in this string, the same number of times it should present in this string as well. And this is applied for all the characters in the given strings. Order doesn't matter. Okay, see here L character on the first position, here L character on the third position. That doesn't matter. Here you will see the end character on the last and here you will see second last. Okay, so that doesn't matter. So here the first method is lengthy. What we can do, we can count how many times each and every character is present in this string. Basically finding the frequency of each and every character in the given string. And then we will find the same thing for this string as well. And after that, we will compare, okay, if this particular character is present this many times in this, in this string and how many times it is present in the second string. If both are equal, then move to next character. So same thing we need to apply for another character. How many times it is present in the first string? It should be present the same number of times in the second string as well. So obviously, both string should be same in the length as well, right? So this is lengthy process and if you don't know how to find the frequency of character or how to find the number of occurrences for the particular character in the given string in Java, then I already made a video on that. You will find that on the eye icon and also I am providing the link in the description as well. In description, you will find other links as well like courses I am providing on GraphQL with Spring Boot, building the REST API with Spring Boot, MongoDB. RabbitMQ messaging with Java and Spring Boot and other courses. So check out the description and you will find courses links and link to this video in which you will learn to find the occurrences of each and every character in the given string. In other words, finding the frequency of characters in the given string. So this is very lengthy process. So we are not going for that. We will choose another path. So what we can do over here that we can sort the strings in the alphabetic order. That means A to Z. Okay. And then we can compare after sorting the strings in alphabetic order. If both strings are exactly equal, then we can say that both strings are anagram. Okay. You are getting right because we, if we sort then say first, you know, E character, then I character in alphabetic order. And if both strings are having same number of occurrences for each and every character then after sorting in the alphabetic order the both string should be equal we can use the equals method to compare the both the strings so what we can do over here that let's have one separate method that will just say us boolean value that both are enneagram or not is enneagram and we will get both the strings over here let's have null check for both of these strings because then only we can proceed further right so if any of these strings is null then return false Okay, then there is no meaning to go ahead. And another thing is we already discussed, right? Both strings should be equal in the length. 
okay so the length of this string one should be equal to the second string okay and if this is not then return false see if both strings are not same in the length then obviously it will not have the same number of occurrences for each and every character right that's obvious say for example if i am adding another character over here then obviously if i sort this both the strings in alphabetic order it will not be the same there is no meaning because the t character is present once over here and here twice it can happen to other characters as well because the length is not same right now what we will do to sort the strings in alphabetic order we will convert the strings to character array so character array 1 this is our string 1 to character array and same for another string Now, using the arrays dot sort, we will sort this both the arrays. Basically, we will sort both the strings in the alphabetic order. So, arrays dot sort, and we will pass carry array one in the same way. We will do for second array. So now, our both the strings are sorted into the alphabetic order, but still both the strings are in the format of character array so what we need to do over here is that we need to convert this character array back into the string and then we need to use the equals method to compare both the strings after sorting into the alphabetic order so what we can do over here we can use the new string character array okay equals another string that is our character array 2. So, if this is returning true, then return true, whatever it is returning, okay? It doesn't matter true or false. If both are equal, then it will return true, else it will return false. So, after sorting the strings into the alphabetic order, we are converting back to string from the character array, and then we are comparing both the strings using the equals method. If both are equal, then both the strings are anagram, otherwise they are not. So let's call this method from here. Is anagram. Let's run the program. See, we are getting true. Now, say for example, I am changing one character, okay? Some other character instead of T. See, it is getting false. Another thing is here case sensitivity is applied. Say for example, if I am having the uppercase S over here and here is a lowercase s, okay, then it will return false. Why? Because this S and this S are not the same one when you are comparing, right? So it will tell you that these both strings are not anagram because the case sensitivity is applied. When you sort in the alphabetic order, right? It's a different thing when you have characters in the lowercase and when you have the characters in the uppercase okay because we have separate ascii value for different characters in the uppercase and the same character in the lowercase okay so if you want to avoid the case sensitivity basically if you don't want to apply the case sensitivity then convert it to either lowercase or uppercase okay while you are convert it to character array so this you can do over here as well okay when calling this method over here here also you can do it's up to you so now if you run see now it is giving you true so here we are not applying the case sensitivity so this is anagram string and this is how you can check if two strings are anagram or not in java so that's all for now and if you like the video then please subscribe to the channel Hit the notification bell, like the video, do comment in the comment section and share with your friends. We'll see you in the another video.
Till then, happy learning and happy coding.